in the circumstances of what has happened with the Kriadonko and everything, uh, and everything that we have said tonight, we've said one that the, 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 uh, the, the Article 54 is about parliamentary, it's not about presidential. You can see that in another video. We've also said that um, uh, as a this is as a result of the Ghana Bar Association not showing up at the consultative assembly meetings where all of these things were discussed. And uh, these are tougher legal issues. They are more technical. And you have had the group of re lawyers represent. There were some lawyers in the room, of course. But if you had a lawyer's representation there, perhaps, perhaps, they would have looked at this a, a different way. So in the circumstances, we are suggesting that the Electoral Commission has a call to exercise their discretion. This is where we are. But that's why Article 296 is there, because the Constitution knew, the framers of the Constitution were aware that um, there will be a time when the discretion of the office holder is what will be the law. They knew that because you are operating a human society. You probably possibly cannot legislate for everything. We have tried. The American constitution is very small. It doesn't legislate for anything. It allows the people to think. The British have actually no constitution at all. They go day by day and parliament enacts and enacts and enacts. So we have done well. But even in what we did in trying to legislate for as many things as possible, the, the framers of the constitution were still aware that you cannot legislate for everything. So they put in 296. What does it say? Where in this constitution or any other law, discretionary power is vested in any person or authority, A, that discretionary power shall be deemed to, be, to imply a duty to be fair and candid. B, the exercise of the discretionary power shall not be arbitrary, capricious, or biased, whether by resentment, prejudice, or personal dislike, and shall be in accordance with due process of law. Yes. C, where the person or authority is not a judge or other judicial officer, there shall be published by the constitutional instrument, CI, or statutory instrument, regulations that are not inconsistent with the provisions of this constitution or that other law to govern the exercise of the discretionary power. Uh, lawyer, this is where the issue comes in. So if the Electoral Commission decides, and they can, that in the circumstances, they are going to take out a grand course name, because a party is not interested if they say so, and that they are going to ask ballot positions to shift, to shift below three, that's going to create a problem. Yes. And the NDC are going to go to court. Okay. Uh, we'll, what's, what's going to happen? So generally, the, the court is, if the court is brought in, that's going to be a different mm. um, ball game altogether, because now the courts would have to look at issues of interpreting all the various constitutional clauses. You know, the courts cannot add to the constitution. No, the courts will be coming in at the discretion level. Exactly. So they would have to interpret 296. That's what I mean. Yes. Because it's a constitutional provision. Yes. And, uh -huh. and the, they the, cannot the add. limitations are... They have, have to, to be, be fair. It has to be candid. It has to fair be... Fair and candid. Yes. Candid, I'm not sure it will apply here, but fair. Yes. Because so if a person has balloted to be a seven, and has you tell them money. to move to six, that's unfair. Possibly, because the person has, one has spent money, mm -hmm. incurred costs, mm -hmm. in putting together paraphernalia and, uh, uh, mm -hmm. and things of the sort to campaign for that specific position. It may not be fair. On the flip side, on the other side, we also do not want a situation where we waste votes. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, we should try and minimize vote wastage. So that's the argument the other side may make that, mm, despite the fact that political parties may lose some money, it is the cost for democracy. And we all know democracy is an expensive venture. Therefore, let us ensure that as much as possible, we do not throw votes away. In 2008, the election, 2008, the number of spoiled ballots mm -hmm. was actually third before, so it was MPP, NDC, spoiled, spoiled ballots. ballots before the other candidates came in. Is, is that, is that a, a demerit of our democracy? Everything has merits and demerits, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it is the broader picture in the long haul. Okay, so we, the point you are making, if the other arguments where they say that we need to, we need to ensure that ballots are not just as much as possible. So that means take your credit out. Yes. So would you leave the place blank? So what they may do is they can either leave the place blank, particularly as I said, they've printed. Mm -hmm. They may recall them. Uh, they've said they've paper. stopped the ballot. Tonight. Yes, and then recall wherever it's been distributed to or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they can either leave it bl uh, blank or blot it with black. So they can leave the number there, but the whole, the, all the space will be So that number like, eight remains number eight? Yes, but... Will they have a justification to insist that political parties will be shifted on the poll? Uh, the, you see, the justification will then fall here, 296. That justification, is it fair? 
that justification is it um does it evince arbitrariness does it evince capriciousness does bias it, is it bias against arbitrary the party? capricious bias prejudice personal dislike what may all not work and those things may all yeah. not work but yes. fair that's fair fair is a big one exactly so as much as possible we should also try and you know have a balance under what circumstance can anybody argue that it is fair to change to ask people to change their ballot point because somebody has died when you and didn't tell them that before exactly um, um what i said earlier that we would also not be we will not be very fair to our democracy someone may say that oh but everybody knows that she passed and therefore it would not make sense to attempt to you know change the positioning because people most likely are not going to spoil their ballots um, and printing it there but as i said earlier we must try as much as possible to prevent um, such instances um, from from happening so the suggestion or what i would think is that we would just blot out mm. that part and leave the numbers as what about the finally what about the the law what do we do with the law are you able to write a paper and, uh, and, and send it to your send your <laughs> law firm your head of law firm mr sufi to sign and then send it to the parliament Poss possibly possibly um it, it actually shows some of the weaknesses because you observe that in many of the election provisions they are largely contained under Parliament, that's the legislature. Mm -hmm. The legislature starts from Article 93 and ends at Article 124. Mm -hmm. So you saw Article 112, which all are the legislative are articles, all in Parliament. That, exactly. That seems to be where the election regulations are mentioned. Main, mainly for. They're so, not mentioned in the presidential at all. Most, no. Except so, to say that the president is elected with 50% plus one, the yes, second round. Those, those are the broad, those are things we cannot do without. Those are mm -hmm. things we have to prescribe. Mm -hmm. But as to the technicalities and the nitty gritties, which particularly in a relatively um, volatile democracy like ours. I, I mean, now it's not that volatile. Doesn't it give us an opportunity to sort of look at all these things and see whether we can do what Americans do, where they are the running mates photographed to their ballot, whether we can use this opportunity yeah, so of Ricardo cause death and all of these things, to see, now look at the regulations and sort, sort it out. I see, the American system, the, if they will get a number of, they will get four or five, Mm -hmm. Mainly Democrat, Republican, then you can have some independent. Oh, sometimes they have 22 candidates. Um, all running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America because I know now the 2020 election, there were plenty. Four or five. Oh, by two. the time they are running, there are plenty. But their system, mm -hmm. they do not have a, a one sheet ballot. I don't know if, if you so they, they mm -hmm. give them papers. Mm -hmm. And then every state has the, the way they kinds, vote. Yeah, yeah. So they have an X. You go with your pen, mm -hmm. you have an X. So that's. That's fundamental. fundamental but should we, shouldn't we be adding running mates to the ticket? It would on also the ballot. come to issue of design. Yeah, but you have the presidential candidate, you have the photograph of the, you have the party logo. Okay, so we can have maybe the space for the presidential candidates can be divided into two. Yes, so the left is president, president right, right is possibly. So that's in case of any, anything. But does, the, does that mean that the party is going to put the vice there? What if the party replaces, maybe you can, maybe the party doesn't want Roman Father to go. And so yeah, so once, comes once for, somebody has died, you, everything changes. Exactly. So what but if the, the two who are there, you, they're both of them on the ballot. Yes, but I'm saying, what if the party comes for, uh, um, let's say, um, Ella. Mm -hmm. Ella becomes running mate. Ella says, well, I don't like Roman Fada. What does that mean? She doesn't want Roman Fada to be her vice, her running mate. Despite the fact oh, that oh, no, the, the name person, no, but the, the running mate has been filled. Oh, no, but the constitution says that the person choosing the running mate is the presidential candidate. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so the Electoral so, Commission takes the name from the presidential candidate. Yes. So if there's a new presidential candidate, they will take the name from the new presidential candidate. Yes. And Do I'm you saying, want Roman Father? He says, yes. Okay. No. No. Uh -huh. So if it's a no, mm -hmm. and Roman Father's name is already on there. You take him out as well. So and then, but also, you are taking the presidential candidate out, so it's easy to take another yeah, presidential. So that's too, that will also go back to issues of printing again. The reason I was saying but that... As for the issues of printing, we are there now. We are going to do double printing, no matter how we exactly. look at it. reason I was saying yeah. that democracy is an expensive... In yeah, there. it is. It Whether is. you like it or yes, this issue of taking pen to cancel. Uh. But the other thing is, why are they printing the ballot paper so early? We're in October. Better safe than sorry. Particularly knowing. Yeah, some yeah but parts. between 1st December and 3rd December, can't no, the printing, 15 printing, million ballot papers printing be printed? Printing necessarily may not be a problem. But aside from printing, the security. there's distribution, there's security, there's logistics. There are some parts of the country you have to get with, with canoe. All their voices must be heard. There are some parts of the country they have to use helicopters. All those log logistical arrangements. Yeah, must but I can be do made. that in a week. Are you sure? I'm guessing. <laughs> and Americans do it. Uh, that's America. And you know, in yeah, America, but the military have helicopters. In, in, in America, mm -hmm. how many? But in America, the uh, election is, is relatively different because they live yeah. at the state level, and they're doing early voting and all of that. Yes. Okay. So it's the state level that. So it's sort of. Let's, let's